everybody this is Sylvia welcome back to my channel so in this video what I'm sharing is um, so I'm doing a special um, a little booklet for somebody that's gonna have a birthday um, so she likes mermaids so what I started doing already and I'll show you um, I'll link um, in the description box the video where I got the idea to do this um, this is pretty much um, a book that I'm making out of envelopes so um, pretty much what I'm using is these little envelopes here and you, you can do this with any size but pretty much what I'm doing is I am um, I ended up putting these envelopes inside of each other and I pretty much bend it this back but like I said there's a video full tutorial on how to do this and that's where I got the idea this is from uh, another youtuber but pretty much it was just me putting the envelopes in this way and gluing them and then just pretty much folding it over and then adding another one folding it over um, like I said there's a video I'll link it in the description box just because um, that wasn't my idea and it's just pretty much that's where I, how I'm getting inspired to do this so here they are I ended up putting one two three four five six seven envelopes together with the method that I like I said I, I used um, that I followed from uh, that youtuber that I follow um, and so now what I did is I pretty much decorated each page. I haven't done the front yet because I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna, uh, what I'm gonna do with the edge here. But I pretty much use this very old um, <laughs> paper pad that I bought some years ago. This is a Mermaid Coast that I got at um, uh, Michael's. Uh, it's from Craftsmith. I don't think it's available anymore to be honest. Maybe you'll find it on eBay. I don't know you might get lucky because like I said I haven't seen this anymore at Michaels um, if you have leave it in the description box just in case other people are interested in it but um, so this is a paper pad that I'm using for this project so I ended up cutting papers um, the size a little bit smaller than the size of the envelope just so that I could go ahead and leave a white edge around um, so they're approximately three and a half by six and one quarter approximately like I said each each one is different so what I did is on this on these the ones on the left hand side all of them are just pretty much the whole page um, and what I did is I left the slit open here so that you're able to put something in there so like you see how you're able to slip something inside um, I'm trying to figure out because this is really like if you pull too much on it, it might rip the envelope. So I should have probably made this part a little bit smaller so that it doesn't tug on so much. But I'm trying to figure out a way for the person to know that they have to pull this out. So I don't know if I'll end up like putting a little tab that flips over and then that way they know they have to flip this out. I don't know. On this, on these pages on the right, what I ended up doing is I did um, whatever leftover I had. So like this page wouldn't go all the way down so let's say it's about this long and then the leftovers from the other pages I ended up using here so now I have a pocket here in case I want to put something there and then right here I just made a little flip up um, and then I added this little uh, hexagon that I had punches from that same I don't remember that same paper pad or another one I want to say it's from another paper pad and I just had like a few leftovers so I used that there and I think it is. I think it's from another one. Um, I ended up using a stripe here. And then right here again, it's just a little pocket here, pocket here. And I'm just going to decorate it. So I left a few things here. So like this one, you can put a card that's kind of like just put on the side. And then I had here, I ended up putting a little piece of the same paper down here to give it like a little accent. It kind of looks like it's a window, which I thought was pretty cool. On this one, I did a little flag there. And then, like I said, this has pocket. So I haven't finished it. I kind of just added accents here and there. Um, but if you want to see how it ends up, just keep on watching. I'm just going to go ahead right now. The thing that I was trying to figure out was what to do with this edge here. The only thing that I can think of is, I don't know, I've never done this before, but I think I'm going to use this ink. And like I said, I've never used this before. And I have this here. I don't have no idea what this is called. But I had this put away. I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to try to see if I can use this. 
um, and to do the edges. Um, let me try doing it here. So that's kind of what I want to work on right now, just because, like I said, I don't know. Look, you see how you kind of use this and you blend it out. So I think I might do that. And I'm thinking I might do it. Oh, so let me tell you what I wanted to put on there. I have an envelope here with all the stuff that I wanted to add to it. And you see, these were these were pretty cool because these were like part of the cards that came in the in one of the pages that I pulled out, but they're pretty big, so I can't really use them. And I really didn't feel comfortable cutting them and trying to put them there. Like this one would have been cool if the booklet would have opened this way. So that would have been cool, but it's I didn't design it that way. So that would have been nice. So I'm not going to use these because they're just too big. So I ended up cutting other ones. And so my idea, you see, I don't know. I wanted to use this, but the color is very different. You see how this one is like more, it's like more, um, like more bluish. So I don't know if I want to really use that. Um, because I don't have anything that's green, but then again, I don't know. I don't know how, what kind of touch it's going to give it. So I'm a little bit iffy on how to do it. And then I thought maybe I could use washi tape, but I don't like the idea of the washi tape just because this will be, you know, opening. So I kind of, I don't know how I feel about having that there. So let me see if I have another ink that I might be able to use there. You see, I only have these. These are the only ones, but I feel like this one is too green. Let me see. See, I don't know. Ugh. I got paint on myself. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I would use. Um... So I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I feel like this one might be too blue. But I guess we can try it out and see. But pretty much I'm just trying to decorate it. You see this one's like super blue. It's not even green. You see, this one's, I don't know, it might, it might work. I don't know. No, it's like, you see, it's, I think I still like this one better. This one's too blue. So I'm trying to figure out, I think I'm just going to go with this one, even if it's start a little bit, um, still not the same, but I mean, it's just, like I said, it's just for the edge. And I'm just trying to, I think I'm going to just do the whole thing like on the edge and then that way it kind of looks the same. But I'm going to need another paper because now I put a different color. I should have gotten something bigger, but I don't have anything nearby. But pretty much I'm going to try to do that. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just going to move on to kind of start decorating the rest of it. Um, because I need to finish this. I haven't finished it and I need a, this person's birthday is like this week, but they're out of town. So I still have time to kind of finish it. So I'm going to go ahead and work on it and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like at the end and, um, just share the end product of it. So like I said, if you're interested, just keep on watching.
All right, so here's kind of how I ended this. Um, I still have to add stuff that I'm gonna add in here, but pretty much this is what I ended up doing. I'm gonna end up, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end up writing her name here. And then I just added little accents here and there. Um, I added some here. Um, I added this here. I added this little flip here. Another anchor there. And then I added a seashell in the back. So I just kind of wanted to decorate. So if you notice, I kind of struggled with the colors, um, but it's fine. I think in the end, what's gonna pop is gonna be what's inside. And you know, I just wanted to make sure that this wouldn't turn because it's white, that it wouldn't turn um, dark with the handling. So I kind of did that. Um, so I think I did a pretty good job the first time that I've ever used this. So I think it was pretty good for the first time. Hopefully when I do more, I'll get more experience on how to use that but pretty much I'm just gonna add little goodies here and there um, and hopefully she enjoys it anyways thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day bye